It's sad all around. First up right now at 530, he's accused of murdering a Yale grad student and triggering a nationwide manhunt before eventually being captured last month. Today, Ching Xuan Pan faced a judge here in a Connecticut courtroom. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane was inside court today. He is joining us now live with the mobile newsroom from downtown New Haven. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, this is the second time Ching Xuan Pan faced a judge since he was extradited back to Connecticut last month. This time, though, it was different. He was in person inside the courtroom, and that's something we really haven't seen a whole lot of since the pandemic. We'll be addressing the uh, hearing probable cause status today. Dressed in a red prison jumpsuit and with a mask covering much of his face, Ching Shuang Pan appeared in court. The 30-year-old is charged with murder in the February shooting death of Kevin Jang, a Yale graduate student and Army veteran. And with the arrest warrant remaining sealed for another 10 days, details of the case continue to remain sparse. The warrant is uh, chock full of information, but as you know, it's sealed to the 11th. Uh, no further discoveries forthcoming. The prosecutor doesn't have it either. Police quickly zeroed in on Pan as a person of interest, eventually labeling him as their suspect. We're told Pan and Jang's fiance knew each other from their time as students at MIT, with investigators looking to see if jealousy was a factor. After eluding police for several months, U.S. Marshals captured him down in Alabama last month, where during his arraignment, prosecutors said he was renting an apartment under a false name, had $19,000 in cash on him, seven cell phones, and his father's passport. He was eventually extradited back to Connecticut to face the murder charge here. He's doing fine in jail. However, he can't call out. He doesn't have his eyeglasses. Other than that, he's in good spirits. He says they're treating him very well. Pond's parents were the only people in the courtroom gallery today. His father saying there is only one word to describe it all. Sad. His mother telling reporters, it is so sorry this happened. It's their only child. They've been here from Shanghai since 2007. It, he was basically their whole life, their son. Now that son is locked up on a $20 million bond that his attorney is hoping to get reduced next month. The bond that's set now is tantamount to no bond at all. So if you're going to set a bond at $20 million, it's just like saying we don't have bail in Connecticut. I think it's legally wrong. And that uh, arrest warrant will be unsealed on June 11th. Again, Pon and his attorney will be back here uh, at New Haven Superior Court on July 13th when he is scheduled to argue for a lower bond. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you very much.